Are we ready? Are we all standing comfortably? Okay. Can I get my music, please? outstanding producers, ingredients, and flavors. And by taking inspiration from these, we're able to create truly unique and delicious drinks. I'll be giving you some information about the drinks as we go, but please, don't worry about writing everything down. It's all on the menus in front of you, which are welcome to keep hold of after the presentation, so you can sit back and relax. I'll be starting with my warm designer beverage, which is called a message from El Salvador. And it takes inspiration from the amazing producers in El Salvador, who I'm lucky enough to work with. It starts, 20 mils of El Salvadorian rum, Ron Sieta. So this is produced by Alfredo Pacas and the Pacas family, who as well as growing outstanding coffee, grow the sugar cane as 12-year-old rum, with flavors of vanilla and candied orange. To complement this, 10 mils of an equal part molasses syrup. So this molasses is a byproduct of the rum production and adds a deep, rich sweetness to my drink. Next, 10 mils of another sugar cane based spirit this time from right here in Brazil. This is Cupea Cachaça, which I chose because it's aged for three years in American oak, and a delicious spice note, and I've infused it at one part to 10 part ratio of El Salvadorian Cascara to the Cachaça, which introduces the delicious dried fruit characteristics. And next, 20 mils of Pedro Jimenez, which has a delicious flavor of raisin, complementing that rum perfectly. So the next ingredient I'll be preparing for you takes inspiration from my favorite winter cocktail, hot buttered rum. So this is a spiced butter mix. And I'm making it by adding 60 mils of 93 degree water to two cloves, one cinnamon stick, three grams of orange zest, one gram of vanilla, and 15 grams of butter. And I'll leave that to warm as I prepare the coffee that brings this whole drink together. You might have guessed, it comes from El Salvador. This brand grown by Carlos and Patricia Pollock on their farm Finca San Antonio. It's my favorite varietal, Pacamara. And specifically, by roasting this delicious semi-washed red Pacamara seven days ago, I'm able to highlight the citric and stone fruit characteristics. Add this recipe, 21 grams in, for a 50 gram yield. These are expressed as orange and red cherry. So while I've been preparing the espresso, my ingredients have been warming in the sous vide. And by using this device, Prepared with very precise timing. I know the drink will be served to you at exactly 52 degrees. This serves three key benefits. First of all, it means that all those delicious ingredients are fully emulsified, delivering that silky texture and buttery mouthfeel in the drink. As well as this, you'll get a glossy layer of vanilla butter on top of the drink. And by warming all those delicious ingredients, I'm able to create that warming comforting sensation. So in a high-end cocktail bar, such as a hotel bar, this drink can easily be served using the sous vide circulator to pre-batching the whole drink or finishing it with fresh espresso, making it a perfect fishing and winter cocktail. So the flavors of the drink. Up front, Christmas pudding, which is a rich pudding made with raisin spice and molasses. To accompany this, brandy butter and a distinct flavour of dark chocolate orange, which I'm reinforcing using this garnish, which is bright orange. So the message from our wouldn't be complete without a personal message to use from those amazing producers. So here, I'm Alfredo and the team of Ron Sietan. I'm here from Carlos and Patty. I think that's the same thing. Please enjoy my message for yourself. Thank you.
Irish coffee, but travelling 1,300 kilometres east to the Caribbean and taking inspiration from the amazing tropical flavours inherent of the region. I'll be starting my Caribbean Irish coffee with 30 mils of Glenfiddich, 21-year-old Reserva rum finished whiskey. This has an amazing tropical flavour of mango and also a delicious underlying note of butterscotch, which adds an amazing sweetness. Thank you. 10 mils of the Balvenie Caribbean cask whiskey, which is another rum finished whiskey, this time adding base notes of vanilla and spice. So, to add amazing body to the drink, we have 10 mils of Shivas Regal, 12 year old blended scotch. So all of these three whiskies come from the Speyside region, and this specifically is a blend from the region, adding amazing flavors of dried banana and also topping. And to complement these whiskies, I'm adding 20 mils each of two equal part sugar syrups. The first is a Caribbean light muscovado sugar, which adds an amazing butterscotch flavor to time that Glenfiddich. And the second is a coconut palm sugar syrup, which highlights those tropical flavor notes. So, the coffee for this drink. I chose for two reasons. First, it comes from Nicaragua, which itself has a border on the Caribbean Sea. But more importantly, it has a delicious tropical flavor profile of passion fruit and pineapple. It comes from Finca La Huella, which belongs to the Marish family. And it's a naturally processed yellow pacamara. So by combining these ingredients, I know the body of the drink will be exactly 65 degrees, whereas the amazing cream, which I brought all the way from Somerset in England today, from the estate area, will be served at just 8 degrees. This gives an overall impression of the temperature of the drink of 52 degrees, which is where those amazing tropical flavour notes are found, with the highest possible clarity and intensity, and the natural sweetness of the coffee really shines through. flavour notes of the drink. Up front, we'll find an amazing vanilla cream and butterscotch. In the subsequent sip, this tropical notes will really shine through. Caramelised mango, dried banana, and in the finish, spiced dark rum. It's been a pleasure taking inspiration from around the world to serve you these drinks today. And I've enjoyed the process so much. I really hope you enjoy my Caribbean Irish coffee. Thank you very much. Time! Yeah!